Welcome to Divine Lotus Tarot. We are going to take a look at a reading um, looking at who is doing black magic on your love and romance life. We are going to do all 12 zodiac signs. Before we get started in that, we uh, I want to go ahead and invite you to book a personal private session with me um, of your own. You can click the link in the description box below this video. Um, I also want to invite you to follow me on my other social media sites and you can find the information below in the links in below the this video the description box below this video so we are going to take a look at who is doing black magic on your love and romance life starting with the zodiac sign of Virgo and going through each of the 12 zodiac signs and ending with Leo so you can watch for any other significant placements that you have in your birth chart besides your sun sign as well too okay so let's go ahead and get into the reading okay so for those of you with significant placements of Virgo in your birth chart we have the princess of cups coming up so this definitely could signify that there is water um, a water uh, individual that has significant placements of water and fire in their birth chart that's doing um um <laughs> black magic on your love and romance life i'm hearing binding so someone could be doing binding work on your love and romance life um but we have strong libra energy coming out so it could be someone who's a sun sign libra um and then we also have like complicated energy so i feel like for some of you you have like a 50 50 type of situation going on you have a group of individuals who all don't like you and they're all collaboratively working together to do magic uh black magic on your love and romance life and then you also have individuals who actually do like you and they want you and they're very competitive and they want to be with you i don't feel like this uh these individuals are working together i just feel like it's it's um it's, it's just a lot of individuals who's wanting to compete for your attention so it's like you have people on both sides of the spectrum people who like you who are doing this and it's because they're trying to beat out the competition of other individuals and then at the same time you have people who don't like you but they are working together um to do magic on black magic on your love and romance life Okay, so for those of you with significant placements of Libra in your birth chart, we have the Prince of Wands coming up. So this is giving a very strong Sagittarian energy. So it's either someone who is a Sagittarius sun sign or they could have very um, strong significant placements of Sagittarius in their birth chart. So we also have the energy of a co-worker. Um, so it could be someone you work with. We have the energy of a new lover. So this could be someone who you newly are... Um, just talking to i guess and um someone you just started seeing or dating and then we have the uh, grandpa energy so this could be your grandpa uh, someone else's grandpa or an individual you look at in that type of playing that type of role in your life as a grandpa also what i'm picking up is for some of you it's like different individuals it's individuals who you work with <clears throat> maybe um some of your grandfathers or someone else's grandfather um and then for others of you it's like your new love interest but then i'm also picking up the energy that for some of you this could be a new love interest that you actually work with and i was getting the en energy of this person being like very territorial so it's like this person is like not taking no chances like this person is off the rip like since the two of you start being an item or whatever this is this individual like and like initiated this like right off the rip is what i'm getting like this person is like like not playing no games like they initiated this right away like doing black magic also for whoever this love interest new love interest is or this new love interest who you're working with or someone new that you're working with whoever this is this person has been doing love and uh black magic on your love and romance life for some time and I feel like they've been working on you for some time. And so now that they have the opportunity with you, because it looks like obviously they've, it's worked because now you're with this individual. Now they're just essentially solidifying the connection. Because I'm getting the energy of someone feels like you are known to be single or you like to be single or something like that. Or it took a very long time. <laughs> For this person to secure this relationship so it's like yeah they're just like trying to guarantee that like you don't go anywhere now that they got you all right moving on 
So for those of you with significant placements of Scorpio in your birth chart, we have the Four of Wands coming out. Um, so this is giving very strong fire energy. So it could be someone who holds significant placements of Leo, Aries, Scorpio, or Leo, Aries, Sagittarius in their birth chart. It could also be someone who has Scorpio placements in their birth chart. Um, then I'm also picking up the energy of a brother. So it could be your brother, someone else's brother, someone you look at like a brother, um, a grandma energy, your grandma, someone else's grandma, someone you look at like a grandma. So it's giving strong family energy. If it's not your family, then it's definitely someone else's family. If it's someone else's family, you know, or someone else's family, you don't know. But I feel like um, regardless, this information is going to be revealed to you who's doing it. So. So for those of you with significant placements of Sagittarius in, in your birth chart, we actually have the Seven of Swords coming out. So this could entail that it's an Aquarius, a uh, Libra, or a Gemini, or someone who holds these placements in their birth chart. We also have the energy of uh, Sagittarius um, doing this. Um, and then we also have the energy of a friend or an associate. So I'm hearing, I heard friend or a foe. So it could be someone who you think is a friend, but this person is actually a foe. Uh, especially with the seven of swords coming up here so this would be someone doing this would be individuals doing it behind your back thinking that they're not going to get caught um so people in your face pretending like they like you but behind the scenes they're you know doing shady things such as black magic on your love and romance life so it's people who present themselves as friends or um individual who you associate with but secretly they are doing black magic behind the scenes on you and then we also got like someone who is like grieving and mourning the loss of a death okay doing black magic on you on your love life love and romance life so just like scorpio some of y'all might got significant placements of scorpio in your birth chart i see this is going to end up being revealed so whoever these people were that have been doing this on your love and romance life is it's about to come out so for those of you with significant placements of Capricorn in your birth chart, we have the Queen of Wands energy and I heard Aries Leo. So it could be an Aries and a Leo or a, someone who has Aries Leo placements in their birth chart. Um, we also have the energy of a sun. So this could be your own sun or someone else's sun or even someone that you might have like, you know, a, adopted as a sun um, looking at this individual in that light. Now for others of you as well too, this also could entail, this could be someone who you have a son with, okay? So for those of you where this is an individual who you have a son with who has been doing this on your love and romance life, I feel like this individual utilized the child to trap you. So it's like they did magic on you so they could get um, the black magic on you so they could essentially trap you with the baby so you would stay with them is what I'm getting and there's some truth around the situation that either this person was doing black magic that's going to come out or that this person you know utilized the sun to trap you or just some type of situation pertaining to this sun and you um, there's going to be some information that gets revealed Okay, so those of you with significant placements of Aquarius, we have the Two of Swords. So this could be someone who has other significant placements of air in their birth chart as well. So someone who has Libra, Aquarius, Gemini in their birth chart. We also have the energy of Taurus here, the energy of Leo here, and then we have a sun energy. So this could be your sun, someone else's sun, someone you look at like a sun, or someone that you, uh, the individual who you have a sun with, okay? So for those of you with significant placements of Aquarius in your birth chart where there is a situation where you have a son with someone else the individual that is doing the black magic um, on your love and romance life who you have the son with they went to their friends or their friends essentially gave them the good advice um, to do this so it could this could be someone who has a group of like friends that you already know um you might not like this person's group of friends or you might think like yeah like you don't you might not think like the the highest of this individual's group of friends so this, like I, I just get the sense like you might not like this individual's friends because it's given very like karmisha karmic you know type of energy type of vibes i don't know carmichael i don't know if this is a male doing this in the instance of you know trapping someone with the baby that could be the case as well too 
um it it feels very feminine um either way so it could be a woman or women doing this or it could be men either way i just feel like you would already have an inkling of who this is because you don't like these individuals friends so th this individual went to their friends their friends gave them this advice to do it because their friends do this type of stuff as well too okay so also what i'm getting is by essentially trapping you with a baby okay this this child this individual thought that this was going to make you settle down because it's it's coming up with your energy as you being a player okay and i'm hearing monogamous so you may not have been very monogamous maybe until you had this child or maybe not who knows um but, but yeah that's what i'm getting i feel like someone did this with the intention to like essentially force you to settle down to get married to propose to them to you know to just be more monogamous and then i'm also getting very strong like pick me type of energy here because i'm seeing the energies as well too of like someone desperately like wanting like a long-term relationship and essentially just using magic as a form to manipulate and get this outcome this de desired outcome to essentially like i said just try to force you to make a decision that they wanted you to make because the two of swords is letting me know that like yes yeah, some of y'all definitely were or are players and you were very indecisive like this could have been someone you were like not really trying to settle down with um probably because your intuition was trying to tell you <laughs> who this person was but for some of y'all they definitely did trap you with the baby so moving on so for those of you with significant placements of Pisces in your birth chart, we have the five of wands coming up. So this could be someone who holds fire placement energy in their birth chart, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Um, we also have a brother energy. So this could be your brother, someone else's brother, someone you look at like a brother. We have the aunt energy as well here too. So this could be your aunt, someone else's aunt, or someone you look at like an aunt. Okay. Okay. So with the five of wands energy here, like some of y'all definitely have, like I said, a bro brother aunt energy, whether it's yours or someone else's family member. Um, around you all so that's family type of energy but then there's also the energy of just individuals who are just like I feel like very competitive wanting to get your attention or wanting to get the get some type of significant um relationship with you is what I'm getting um because we have the six of pentacles coming out here I feel like you may have a lot to offer or individuals see you as um having something to offer maybe some of you are like hella generous or something like that um but I see there's a lot of uh, masculine energy around you, just a lot, a lot of aggressive um, energy around you where it's like very competitive. So people could be um, really trying to uh, win your affection or win your at attention and then using um, black magic on your love and romance man's life to essentially get the advantage in the situation over the other individuals who you either are interested in or who they know are interested in you. Okay, so for those of you with significant placements of Aries in your birth chart, we have the Ace of Cups. So this could be someone who has, I'm hearing, strong um, Pisces placements in their birth chart. Um, so it could be Pisces, um, okay, Pisces, Scorpio, Cancer. I'm hearing Aquarius, Aries. We also have the energy here of Taurus. And then we have um, grandpa energy. So it could be your grandpa, another person's grandpa, or someone you look at like a grandpa. Uh, we have divorce. This could be someone, um, just a divorced individual. Um, I'm hearing recently divorced. So this could either be someone you recently divorced or someone who is recently divorced. Okay. And then we got complicated energy as well too. Okay. So then the, the complicated energy comes around the fact that there's someone who wants to be back with you but you, so this could be someone you broke up with or someone who like did you dirty betrayed you um cheated on you or something like that but this person wants to be back with you but then they're doing black magic on you so they're not necessarily using the right type of tactic either even if you were to let's say consider which i don't think you are whoever these individuals are that's doing this but it's like they're trying to spite and hurt you even more because they're hurt at the fact that you don't want to be back with them but they still want to be back with you but yet they're doing black magic on your love and romance life to keep you yeah so what i'm seeing is um 
someone does want another chance with you who whoever these individuals are that's doing the black magic in the instance where it's like a spouse or an ex-spouse um so maybe some of you are on the brink of about to walk away from a connection and about to about to get divorced okay and this individual could want another opportunity with you before you give up on the connection but i feel like your guards is up you don't trust this individual like i said that that three of swords came out signifying like someone has done something to bro break your trust Blah. <laughs> to break your trust oh my goodness but in the other instance if this is someone you're already divorced from i feel like this individual wants another opportunity but it's like i'm i'm getting like it's too late this person knows it's too late but they're still steadily doing black magic on your love and romance life and then for others of you this is someone who wants the opportunity with you to be um it's like someone wants a significant role in your life and it could be too late for this individual and they're trying to like essentially turn back the hands of time to get you to come back to them so they can have another opportunity yeah Okay, so for those of you with significant placements of Taurus in your birth chart, we got the Five of Swords energy. So this could be someone who has other significant placements of air in their birth chart. Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. Um, there's energy of Capricorn here or and Cancer. And then I also have the energy of an uncle. So this could be your uncle, someone else's uncle, or someone who you look at um, as a uncle type of role or figure in your life. Okay. Okay, um, whoever these individuals are, it's like they don't want you to realize some type of dream. Okay, they don't want your, I'm hearing dream deferred. So whoever these individuals are, it's like they, they, they're wanting to defer some type of dream that you have. So this could potentially be individuals that you've shared some wish or dream of yours with when it comes to your love and romance life, whether this is a literal dream or this is just like, you know, something that you've always just wish for or hope for or like fantasized about when it comes to love and romance so this potentially could be people who you've shared openly like you like you've openly confided in these individuals about your desires on um, when it comes to love and romance now if you haven't shared whatever your true you know wishes and fulfillments are let's say in the instance maybe some of you haven't then this is just individuals that just don't want to see you happy you know what i'm saying they don't want to see you happy and i was getting the sense that like these are individuals that are just happy with you being single like they don't want to see you happy with anyone you know and then i pulled more inner uh, more cards <laughs> and then i got the um nine of pentacles so yeah this is these are people who are just very they would be happy for you to just stay single um versus you being able to move forward and i feel like these are individuals that have constantly done this when it comes to your love and romance life so if you're coming up as the nine of pentacles and then we have the five of swords here this could be individuals that just want to see you stay single because they're benefiting from you not being in a relationship essentially So these could be individuals where, yeah, in some form or some fashion, they're benefiting from you, you being single and you not being in a relationship. And it also just feels like as well, too, whoever these individuals are, they've been doing this on you for a very, 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 very long time doing black magic on your love and romance life. And I just also feel like they just don't want you to realize who that they've been doing this to you this whole time that they essentially have been the the reason why your love life has not been successful okay so those of you with significant placements of gemini in your birth chart we have the ten of wands coming up so this is um sagittarius leo aries energy um we have the actual energy of sagittarius coming through and then we have a sun energy so it could be your son someone else's son someone you view as a son or someone you have a son with okay okay so for some of you this could be someone trying to put you in some type of like state of you you not leaving them so for some of you you could be going through a divorce or you may have recently divorced this individual and i feel this individual still wants to re reconnect and rekindle with you in some instances 
for others of you it's just someone who doesn't want you to be able to move on past them so even if the two of you are like separated and not going to get back together this person still just does not want you to move on past them it's like someone wants to keep you in some type of like mopey energy of thinking about like the memories that the two of you had is what i'm getting it's like someone doesn't want you ever to like release them or to move on someone does not just want you to move on is what i'm getting so whether you're currently in the process someone's trying to prevent that breakup or divorce from officially going through or someone is either trying to get you to come back to them or and or someone could just not want you to ever forget about them so it's just like someone wants you to continuously think about them and stay on their mind even if y'all not are going to get back together um, and then for those of you where you have a son with this individual um, I just feel like this individual could be also utilizing the child as like a pawn to manipulate you to stay in this relationship or to come back to them so that also could be like where that mopey energy is like someone's trying to play on your emotions by utilizing the kid so some of the, so for some of you this individual could have the kid in on it as well too but the kid may not be you know aware that they're being used as like being manipulated um to do this but then again you know son did come out so who the, who who knows shit maybe maybe some of y'all kids are well adept at <laughs> black magic who knows you never know so yeah anyways so those of you with significant placements of cancer in your birth chart we have the nine of pentacles here so this could be a virgo um this could be a Virgo Taurus Capricorn I'm hearing Aries and Libra as well too this could be um, we have the energy of Taurus here so that's also um, reconfirming that Taurus earth sign energy we have someone you who, who you may have a baby with okay it could be men in general who are doing black magic on your love and romance life um, it could be someone who's going through some type of legal uh, court situation or something like that it could be your mother okay someone else's mother or someone you look at like a mother and then we have a girlfriend energy so this is either your girlfriend um like in a romantic sense this is your girlfriend or this is someone else's girlfriend okay or someone who you are the girlfriend to so the energy that I'm picking up for you all could be for those of y'all who are in relationships this definitely is like individuals who are trying to um, meddle into the relationship because they want your partner is what I'm getting. So someone feels like you did black magic to get your partner. And so they're doing black magic to get the partner back. So this could be someone where it's like because we did have that girlfriend energy coming up so it could be maybe someone who you're with who used to be the girlfriend of whoever you're dating right now so this person feels like you did black magic to steal their boyfriend from them and now they're doing black magic to get this individual back in some cases for some of you all um But besides that, I just see there's energies of someone doing black magic to essentially, um, they want your partner is what I'm seeing. And by chance you aren't in a relationship because we do have the nine of pentacles here, which could represent that some of you are already single. Um, I just feel someone just wants to make sure that you stay single, period. Okay, so for those of y'all with significant placements of Leo in your birth chart, we got the star card here. So Leo... Um, you could have someone who is an Aquarius okay this also is giving me because we got the Pisces energy here so you could have an Aquarius you can have a individual who's a Pisces doing it you could have um, someone who is on the Aquarius Pisces cusp doing this so we also have there's other relatives so this would be like not your immediate family cousins distant great individuals you know what i mean so yeah cousins nephews nieces and people who are like distant distant 
Um, so yeah, you got other relatives or someone else's other relatives. We have a daughter energy. So this could be your own daughter, someone else's daughter, someone you look at like a daughter, someone you have a daughter with. Um, we got mistress and mister energy. So whoever is your mistress or your mister. Okay. And then we have husband energy. So this could be your husband, someone else's husband. <laughs> And then we have grandma energy and this could be your grandma, someone else's grandma or someone you look at like a grandma. Okay, so Leo, some of y'all could be looked at as being like really like attractive, very like sexy. You could have some type of it factor about you. It could just be something very special, unique, original um, that makes you stand out from like the rest of the world i'm getting <laughs> so there could be something just very different but very like special and unique about you and i feel whoever these individuals are that's doing this on you it's like they don't want you first of all they don't want you to feel this about yourself they don't want you to feel unique they don't want you to feel sexy they don't want you to feel attractive they don't want you to feel special but i feel like there is you're special like you have some type of special energy around you like you are like you could be very very um beautiful or very handsome um but i feel like it's just very natural so regardless if you think you are or not i just feel like there's something very like angelic or something very it's something just very special about you is what i'm getting and it makes you very attractive right um you just got that judge you know what i'm saying and um I just feel whoever these individuals are it's like they don't want you to feel that about yourself they don't want you to feel special they don't want you to feel like how you are but you are I don't know you just are I'm just <laughs> I'm just seeing it like you just you just was born that way like you just came out like that like you can't help it that's what I'm getting it's like it's not something you necessarily can help and I feel people don't want you to feel this way about yourself like you're just you just are you just are it like you just got the it factor you know what i'm saying you're blessed that's that, that's the best thing i can say you are blessed baby you are blessed and people don't want you to feel this way they it's like people essentially kind of want to make you feel like you're ugly or like you're unattractive or like no one is attracted to you that's what i'm seeing i feel like people are trying to do things to prevent you from feeling good about yourself as well as from preventing other individuals from seeing you um in a very special unique or just beautiful manner that you are so so this could be other individuals it's like they know that you're special but they don't want other individuals to know that you're special or to have access to you because you're very special okay and then i also feel as well too a uh, leo i was supposed to call y'all libra so maybe some of y'all got libra in your birth chart Okay, or this could be a Libra that also is over here doing this black magic on you. But what I what I'm seeing is as well too, I feel like um what was I gonna say? That's what I was gonna say. A lot of you could be on individuals like wish list as well too with the star energy here. So that could be the reason why individuals are doing this as well too is like i said it's essentially like other individuals don't want other people to see just how special unique gifted blessed <laughs> gifted and blessed that you are it's just like people don't want other individuals to have access to you because there's something very special about you there's something very unique about you um and i just also feel like you're on a lot of individuals like wish lists so these could also be individuals that like want you um and if it's just like family member because you had hell of family member energy come out as well too over here it could also just be that um there's something about you where like these other individuals benefit from you not being in a relationship so that could be that the case as well too like it's it, it could be something that you just offer your family members or your friends or whoever these other individuals are like if you're not um in a relationship there's something special that you offer or bring to the the energy of other individuals so you could be someone who kind of like you could be like a healer for some of y'all some of y'all could be healers okay and this could be why like I would say more so specifically like your family 
um, if this is your like family or friends, they don't want other individuals to have access to you because you could have a natural healing like essence about you. So it's like they don't want you not around them because essentially th these are, are individuals who are codependent on you. Okay. But if these are like actual love interests, whether you've been with them or not, I just feel like, yeah, there's something very special about you. Um, you stand out, you have the it factor. And I feel like you just are on a lot of individuals like wish lists. You, you know, you're the person who individuals want to marry. So that's that. Those are all the messages I have for you all. I hope you enjoyed this reading. If you would like to book a personal private session of your own, you can click the link in the description box below for my website, www.divinelotustarot.com.